example, let us talk about finding complement topology. Suppose you have a set like X. Let X be a set. Now we're going to define a collection of subsets of set X. Let tau sub F be a collection of subsets like U of set X such that this collection have the following property. The complement of set U, which is denoted by X minus U, is either finite or it is all of X. We're going to show that this collection is actually a topology. So let us show that tau sub f is a topology. We need to show three properties. The very first one is to show that empty set and x are in this collection tau sub f. So as you can see, the property says the complement of subset of x is either finite or it is all of x. So let u be equals to empty set. x minus u is x minus the empty set, which is equal to x. So the complement of u, the complement of empty set is equal to x and it satisfies the second part of the property. So since x minus u is equal to x, so u equals to empty set satisfies the property. What's the meaning of that? It means that the empty set is a member of tau of f. Now let u be x itself. The property says, hey, if you form the complement of u, it's either finite or all of x. x minus u is x minus x itself, which we all know it is equal to the empty set. But since empty set is finite, it means that u, which is equal to x, satisfy the property for tau sub f. So since x minus x is empty set, it is finite. So it satisfies the property. What property? x belongs to tau sub f. Very good, let us move on to the second property. So, so far we showed that empty set and X are members of this collection. The second property, we're going to show that tau sub F is closed under union. What do we mean by that? It means that if you take a collection of elements in tau sub F, their union still is in tau sub F. Our goal 
is to show that the union of members of tau sub f is also a member of tau sub f. So mathematically, if we have a collection of subsets of X that satisfy the property here, we want to show that X minus their union also satisfy the property. So suppose we take a collection of subsets of X, which is an indexed family of non-empty members of tau sub f, our goal is to show that x minus the union satisfies the property. What property? X minus the union of U sub alpha is either finite or it is all of X. So let us begin. X minus the union of U sub alpha is equal to the intersection of X minus U sub alpha. Here we have two cases, two scenarios. Since each u sub alpha is in tau sub f, it means that x minus u sub alpha is either finite or all of x. So we are actually dealing with two cases here. If x minus u sub alpha is finite, then their intersection is also finite. Since the intersection of x minus u sub alpha is finite, it means that x minus the union of u sub alpha is also finite. What if it's all of x? If x minus u sub alpha is equal to x, then their intersection is all of x. So since the intersection of x minus u sub alpha is equal to x, x minus their union is also x. So in either case, it's either finite or it is all of x and it satisfies the property. So the conclusion is so tau sub f is closed under the union. Now we're going to move on and show that the third property also satisfied here. It means that tau sub f is closed under finite intersection. T 
2 sub f is closed under the finite intersection. Very good. So suppose you have some elements of two sub f and they are non-empty. Let u sub one, u sub two, u sub n are non-empty members of this collection two sub f. The goal is to show that the intersection of U sub I's is a member of Tau sub F. Or we want to show that X minus the intersection of U sub I's is either finite or it is all of X. First of all, X minus the intersection of U sub I's and Suppose I starts from one, stops at n, can be written as the union of the complement of u sub i's. Two scenarios here. Since each u sub i belongs to tau sub f. So each u sub i satisfies the property. What property? x minus u, the complement of u is either finite or it's all of x. So if x minus u sub i is finite, then the finite union of finite sets also finite. Since the finite union of finite sets is a finite set. So the union of x minus u sub i's, i starts at one and stops at n, is finite so as the complement of their intersection. Now, second scenario. Let me move this arrow a little bit here. If x minus u sub i is all of x, then the union of x minus u sub i's is also x. So, X minus the intersection of U sub I's is also X. So we show that in either scenarios, in either case, the intersection of U sub I's satisfy the property or it's a member of tau sub Therefore, we prove the last property.
So since two sub f, which is the collection of all subsets of x such that the complement is either finite or all of x, satisfies all three properties, then torus of F is a topology on set X. Okay. 